if you look at the judging criteria, the first item is garage speed, right? Anyone can do or can try to build something, right? Versus a guy who's experienced professional builder. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Magnus Walker here at the final Hot Wheels Legends Tour in Santa Clarita. This is the last one, so you should be here because if you win, you go to SEMA, and if you win at SEMA, you get your car made into a Hot Wheels. Hello, my name is Daisy Chevik. I'm Stanley Chevik. And this is our Buick Schaefer 1933 IndyCar. Everything started 2003 in Czech Republic, where we established our company, Hadra Chevik and we start to fabricate all these Indy cars, race cars, and hot rods. So, we open a new branch of our company here and start doing the dream work. We built in Czech Republic this car and bring here. And the car is handcraft made, aluminum body, everything set up together. It's tribute car, 1933 Buick Schaefer. It's 500 speed uh, racer from Indianapolis. It's exactly the same how it was, but just the car never touched the race. Yes, I built from scratch everything. Engine, exhaust, intake, seats, tank, floor, everything. My name is Rick O'Donnell. I have a 74 Opal Manta. So I bought a Nissan 240SX and I cut the top of the 240SX off, cut the bottom of the Opal Manta off and then welded the two cars together. Bought a LS3 500 horse crate motor and new transmission and radiator and it just went from there. I live very close to Willow Springs Raceway so I go out and drive the car at the track every chance I get. It runs with Porsches, Vipers, it's very light, 2600 pounds and 525 horse so it's a very fast car and it handles good. It's still a work in progress just because I kind of reached peaks at the track where I couldn't go any faster so I started doing suspension tuning and I added a wing to it and some more aero in the front. It's always more fun when you're improving. My name is Tony Quinones and this is the uh, Viper trike. It's one off. It all started with a blank sheet of paper and a 10 cylinder Viper motor. One of the key components is the center hub steering. That allowed me to get away from the motorcycle front end. It's backed up by a two speed power glide, fully built for drag racing. And that runs an independent rear end. It's coilovers all the way around and it's a one off chassis, uh, all built on a jig table, engineered in CAD and laser cut. The body is one off carbon fiber. When you're sitting in the back and you're looking down the nose of it, you see the V10, you see that tiny little wheel and you're just thinking, what did I get myself into? So it's been a nice, warm day guys yes, and I think there's some deliberation to be happened so where do we lean because so far it looks like we have a lot of contenders and uh, no clear vision right yeah we're both like the opal opal so it's an opal body on top of a Nissan s13 chassis built the whole thing in his backyard and races and, and, and races at all times the first time I ever saw it was at Willow Springs chasing down a bunch of vipers so that's, that's wow. unfair because he tries to please everybody here <laughs> yeah no no it's, it's you know American Technically Everybody. German, because Opel well, was a yeah, GM yeah, yeah. German car. And he found the car in a field. Like, this car was abandoned, rusting in a field. It was used as a car that people yeah, tested I, paint on. You know, and he owned that look. He just shaved some of the paint on, owned it, cleared it, and rocked it. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up the trike. That Beautiful thing is car. Yeah. absolutely unbelievable. I think that's one of my so, favorites. Oh, yeah, that Viper thing trike killer. Is you know, the craftsmanship and everything else about that car. How he so. figured out the steering. <laughs> I know. It's yes, yes. Mind so I guess uh, we came to conclusion we got two cars, let's go to work. Hey guys, say hi to the Hot Wheels team. Hot Wheels! Thank you Hot Wheels family for showing up here. Really, really happy to see you guys here to support our brand. Nobody knew a year ago when we celebrated our 50th anniversary that this will become the biggest national traveling car show. 400 plus cars registered. This is the biggest one this year. This tour is a great tour, but it wouldn't be possible without any of our partners. Yeah. Thank you, Model One. Hey, lubricated. Lubricated. Thank you, Dickies, for really great support. And thank you, our host, Walmart. 
mechanics because this is a headquarters of mechanics are actually located here. So yes, one more mechanics. Thank you so much. As you can imagine, this was a tough one. We had about five cars, narrowed it down to three, and then we got to two. So this one is uh, Opel Manta with the uh, 240 SX chassis with an LS motor. Hi, my name's Rick O'Donnell, and this is my 1974 Opel Manta. What inspired me to build this car is having something that was a little different, mainly to take out to the track and drive high-performance driving events. I absolutely went overboard on the roll cage, just did a whole bunch of cage work to really make the car stiff. The motor's actually mounted to the frame rails, not to the cross member anymore, because it's mounted so far back. You basically drive it as hard as you can, wide open, corner to corner. I kind of hit a couple of spots where I couldn't go any faster at Willow, so that's when we started doing some aero. We added the front splitter and the wing, then went back to suspension tuning to get the car to grip a little better and not be so violent. It was a total backyard build. I don't have a lift. Most of the car was done with a MIG welder and a four-inch grinder, and it does have a gas gauge, which is great because it gets about two miles a gallon on track. The car really shocks a lot of people. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but when you get to the track and they see the car go, it's pretty impressive. We just finished up our last stop of the Hot Wheels Legends Tour here in Los Angeles, California. We picked an amazing winner and our final stop is at SEMA, so we will see you there.